right on bro we're live let me um let me make sure my camera is on here okay cool right on man okay so right, let me cool. why don't i why don't i walk you through on your end if you want because i can i can yeah. easily show you on my end but i want i want you to kind of get familiar with it you know yeah yeah that'd be great so, yeah so go ahead and um try to share your screen let's see are you there you see yeah it? yeah for sure cool. awesome All so right. what are you what are you working on as far as the communications that seek the yeah so uh, I just so I show you the page um, right now. We, we, since we've had a hiccup, um, mm -hmm. and I'm talking we, me and my uh, personal trainer, mm -hmm. um, he just linked it. So when they click on the thank you button, it downloads. But we originally had you know this here, where they have two options to buy, and then it goes to different different pages or different thank you pages, different products, and then different thank you pages. Mm -hmm. um, so oh, let me move your face here. There we go. All right. So if I go to my communications, what we're having, and it's not all the time, it might not even be what we did, but I'm going to say it's a user error. But when the people we've had like five purchases already since last night, we put it up and awesome, man. yeah, I'm like really stoked about this product because it is making this way easier. But, um, like I, we played around with it a lot and apparently mm -hmm. not everybody, once they buy it is getting the email sequence afterwards. It's happening like sporadically, like some people get it, some people don't. Um, okay. We even ran some test runs. So when I done, when I pu purchased it, um, it went through, I got the email, my uh, trainer, he had his girlfriend purchase it. She got it one time out of four. So she purchased it four different times. Mm -hmm. Um, and only got the, the the sequence email one time. So I don't know if we just set it up wrong or maybe it's a, a Kartra error that they need to like fix on their end or something. Okay, so let's um, let, open up the start and roll. Let me look at that tag real quick. Okay, so purchase, leave the sign tag, perfect. Okay, so that tag is right. Um, Okay, you can cancel out of that. So then whoever purchases that product, they're not all getting put into this sequence is what you're saying. Yeah, they're, they're not everyone's getting this and I'll show you what this this is where they're supposed to get um click on click stuff. on the click on the recipient. Okay, click on the recipients. Has purchased product. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so that's the right product right there. This is correct product, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so has This is one of this is one of the two they can buy. Is this one or the other one? Okay. Um, Perfect. So, but either case, it's not always going through where, um, is it always this like kind of lag? It could be my computer. My computer's a little old, but, um, so email content, this is what they're supposed to be getting stuff in here. Whoever their first name, their zoom ID, and then, you know, that's, that's for the showing that they they bought the package, they bought the class, and then they'll be able to access it this Saturday, so tomorrow. In this right here, what you also want to do, just as a side note, is you want to hyperlink that Zoom link. Yeah, yeah, I, I told um, my trainer to do that. I guess he forgot, but yeah, well, just, yeah I, I've been I've been hyperlinking it. Okay. Do you think that's a problem? You, no, like, no, that's not but, a problem. Okay. I was gonna hyper, say. Um, yeah, after uh, our first call. I, like click here and hyperlink to click here to download whatever, right? Because that's that's what you and I've been doing, or that's what you told me to do after our first call. Yeah, but what you can do is just um, just highlight that entire link. You either can show the entire link, or you can just say click here. Correct. And so, but but at the same time, you still want to at least at least hyperlink it. So just copy the whole thing. And then just hit that link at the top. Just, yeah, hit that. So at least, so that's where that link should go. Yeah. Okay, so whether it's the whole thing or or not, you want it hype. I got you. Yeah, so just, so. yeah, so you might as well just copy the whole thing and then just paste it. Hi, yeah, click the hyperlink and then just paste it in just for yeah. now. But Yeah, ideally it's the, the, the click here. Yeah, he, he just forgot to put that. That's no big yeah. deal. We could. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Okay, cool. So just, yeah, save that and then just, um, that tag, 
that tag is set up right. So I'm wondering why not everyone's getting the email. Go back to, um, go to an actual lead. So let's go to, um, let's go to my communications. Let's get out of this part, out of the sequence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let's go to the actual, yeah. So let's, let's exit out of this one. Just hit done and exit. And then um, let's take a look at the list real quick. So we'll take, a, the, we'll take a look at the list and we'll click on, so go to, so at the top left, just hover over, um, up, up, ho hover over leads and click on list and then click on the number, the amount of leads that are on that list. So is it three? Is it two? Which one is it? I'm trying to think where on this one would be, I think it would be this one. So actually Seven, don't open it up, but click on oh. the number three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so we're, uh, well, right now this is only showing the test runs that we did. Yeah. Yeah. So let's click on, okay. so click on one of them, for example, click on the name on the actual. And then also you can see right there, the tags hover over the number two for Tony hover, hover over the number three for Brandon in the tags and you'll see if it's properly tagged. So purchase right. single class. Okay. So that's properly tagged. So click on, click on your name, click on Brandon. Okay. And then let's click on um, log. I believe it is. So let's click on the name and then click on, I believe it's log at the top. Yeah. Click on log and then let's yeah. see what was sent out. So page visit sell so there wasn't an email that was triggered do you even have an email that's sent out because because the way you have it in the sequence that's for when that 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 that, that sequence could be could be could be could be set up where okay i purchased a product now and then in the sequence that first email is supposed to go out right? That's one way you can have that first email sent out. So what you're saying is that first email hasn't gone out, but what you can also do is you can set it up in my forms. So right here, page visit. That's would it be in my forms or would it be in the thank you page? Cause ideally it's the land on the landing page. They click, it goes to the checkout product and then they get the thank you page. Mm -hmm. And then shouldn't it then trigger the sequence or, or in my life? Whenever that? they purchase, that's what triggers, that's what triggers that. That's what triggers any email. So what Correct. I'm saying is that okay. initial email, that, that email, like for example, thank you for purchasing, right? That yeah. first email, it can either go out through my forms to the left or it can go out through your sequence, but either way okay. on the sequence, you're saying it's not going out and that's right. That's not, not all the time. Yeah. yeah not, not, not all the time. Yeah. And, and, yeah, so that that's okay. So right here, it would it would say if it went out. So obviously, it it did not go out. I don't see any email sent. Where where would it show that it did go out? Right there, where it says refund page visit sell, it would also say email sent, and okay. in the description, it would it would be the title of that email. Okay. So you'll know you'll know what email went out. It'll say email sent rather than refund. Uh, under under here. Under there, yeah, the description. Okay. Well, okay. the event is refund page visit sell. The event would be email sent. And then, yeah, the description would be the, the title of that email. Even if there was a, a refund that went out with it? Yeah, because they still, yeah. they still, they purchased, they Got still it, received yeah. the email and then they refund okay. it. So this just okay. literally tracks every activity by, by the second. It's all real time, but either, or I don't see email sent. So that's okay. kind of, that's kind of the problem there. Check out, check out the, um, the other two real quick. Just go yeah. to them and see if, if that email. Cause sometimes a, a customer might hit you up and be like, Hey man, you know, I didn't get the email and then it's in their spam. Right. But, okay. but, but I'll come here and I'll, and I'll, I'll know if it was even sent. So page visit, page visit, page visit, sell, so after the sell happened on April 3rd at 917, there was never an email sent. Correct. That's, that's the problem, right? So let's go back to, so let's, let's exit out of this and go to, go to my forms real quick. Click on my forms to the left. 
which form is set up for for that? Uh, <clears throat> for you know what? What you can also do one. actually he for that one he I don't think he created a. Form. There's no form, right? There's no form. So go to my products. Okay. Yeah. Click on my products. Products we have. Okay, so go to that specific product and let's go in and 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 edit real quick. Man, you got a lot of work done, bro. Since last time we spoke. I've, I've been playing around with it. Some of it's incomplete, but some of it is done and ready to go. Just, yeah, for yeah, sure. Trying to get it done, man. Um, awesome. So yeah, click on edit. And then let's, let, let me look at this real quick. Edit product. Yeah, I have the downtime now. Might as well crank this stuff out. Bro, is, it, is it pretty crazy in your area or what, man? Yeah, like we're... We're like less than 10 miles outside of uh, New York City, and obviously they're, they're getting hit pretty hard. So it's just a dense population area. I think my county has the second highest um, outbreaks in the, uh, in the state. So a lot of people are staying home. Man, dude. And yeah, now, so I had to shut down uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, now we're finally, you know, hear, hearing stuff in my, in my actual city. You know, oh, okay. So, what, what city are you again in California? Uh, yeah, I'm in San Diego. Oh, okay. Oh, nice area, man. Yeah, man. So crazy times, bro. Crazy times. So hit, hit next real quick, save and next. Yeah. And then pricing. So that's 39 and then um, scroll down. Okay. So save and next. And then pages. So the thank you page is that the is that the thank you page? The product is perfect. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay, so like. hit the green one, save, and then save it next. And then check out. Okay, got that. Got that. Okay, perfect. And then save and save and next. Okay, so let me see the your customer. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to, okay. So this, this might be the problem is that when, when they go and purchase that, they're not tied to any list. You have them on a sequence, but you don't have them on a list. Okay. So right here, your customer's list, they're, they're not going anywhere. So, okay. So, okay. Do they need to, I thought, I thought you could just set tag people on what they did. I, I think they do. I think they do need to go to a list, man. I, I don't think, I don't think I ever heard where a person buys a product and then they're automatically on a sequence. They have to be on a okay. list as well. Okay. All right. So, so yeah, edit that part, make sure they're on a list and then, and then you're tagging your customers, which is correct. Okay. And then, yeah, that they and, purchased, and, we even yeah. had it, like we were playing around with this. We had it where they clicked on the email or they purchased or like we've, we've yeah. tried different tags um, okay. with it. But what, one, one, one test you can also do is now that we have them on a list. So now we're telling the system, Hey, when they purchase, put them on this list. So now we, what we can test is we can go into the sequence and rather than having the starting role based on the tag, put the starting role based on the list that they're, uh, that they're going on. Okay. Okay. So that, that's one way to, 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 to test it as well. But let me just see if I can. Either, either way, it should work, though. If this is the missing piece, either way, it should work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So definitely want to test again. So click Save okay. and Next. Okay. And then, and then what type of product? Is this your book? No, this is not the book. Um, that one, I actually had to create an Adobe like ebook, mm -hmm. so it looked nice. And mm -hmm. I just did that today, so I have to get that up and going. This is... Um, we're hosting a, a virtual training gotcha. uh, package or classes awesome. uh, for the next couple of weeks. Awesome. Okay. So then the product is set up, right? Go to, go to my forms real quick. Let's go to that. And to, to, because there is an initial form, right? They do opt into something, right? Or do they go, or do they just go straight to a product page? No. So this one was set up for go straight to a product page. So this, well, the way we have it right now, it's not even an ad because this group of people we know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. we're, we're putting it in their It's a, it's a runner's group. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a page in their email. So basically they're getting the initial landing page link. They click on the link, it brings them to the landing page and then it starts from there. 
Okay. So then one thing you, you may want to put in for sure is a form. Mm -hmm. So when they click okay. on that initial page, they opt into a form. That, that even, right there. Even though, we, even though we have their email stuff, like email information already? Yes, even though you have their okay. email information because now you're putting them into the Kartra system. So now they're, now they're stepping into the Kartra ecosystem. And, and, okay. and what triggers everything is a form. Okay. So, so that could be another, another missing piece. When they, when they come to that initial page, not the, not, the, not the sales page, but there should be a page before that, like a landing page. Yeah, I'll show you that. So yeah, show me that. We make, make sure we're on the same yeah. step here. So like this one, do you want me to open it or just Yeah, it? yeah, for sure. Okay. And, and here's another thing too, you for sure, for sure want to have this page go to a form because, okay. because if you're taking me straight to this page and all I got to do is click the blue button and I'm on a product page and then I can decide if I want to buy or not, mm -hmm. you're missing out on all the people who didn't buy at that given time. Does okay. That even, even if we have a tag, like abandoned cart, it's not going to track them. It, it, especially especially if you have an abandoned cart because the abandoned cart tag cannot track who that is because they're they never opted into a form okay does that make sense yeah so, 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 so your tag right now your current you know issue that tag is not reading the person who opted in but you're, but, but, but I, I get how you're thinking as well. You're, you're thinking, okay, why opt in when they purchase the product and then I tagged them, right? That's how you're, you're, you could be, you know, possibly thinking, yeah. but, yeah. but at the same yeah. time, it all, it all starts with this, with this page right here. All right. Um, so rather from, than having my single virtual class, yeah. okay. I would, I would, I would, I would put something like click here to learn more. And then, and then, and then right when they click on the blue button, an opt in form comes up. And now I got that naming email. Once they click submit, then they go to the product page. Okay. Right. So, because so again, the product page is then linked to the opt-in form. The product page is then linked to the, to the opt-in form. Yes. Yes. So now what we do is we go into my forms and that specific form, we're going to tell Kartra, anyone who fills out that form uh -huh. then they go to the product page. Okay. Okay. So now, now that person's in the system. Now the tags can all make sense on who's opted into what. Um, that's, that, that, that's another thing that I would for sure do. Um, and another reason why, as I mentioned, is that because when, once I click on that blue button and I go to that next page, there's going to be X amount that don't purchase, but I, but there was yeah. an interest and I still need that name and email. Yeah, I, I still okay. want that name and email, right? So and you're losing without the opt-in form. Yeah, 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 for sure. So that's one thing right there is is that opt-in form. So if you, so if you is, hover over it, go ahead. I'm sorry. Is there is there a way to like if I don't even click this to have a pop-up form like they can't do anything else? Like the opt-in form becomes like a pop-up layover. Is that what it's called? Oh, here we go. Like if we do one of these things. Yeah, you can you can do that okay. for sure. Can that become the, the pop-up or the opt-in form or no? Nah, you don't really want that because that, uh, okay. I mean, yeah, you don't, you don't really want that because once they come to the page, you're going to just automatically freak them out with a pop-up. You want that on the exit. So if you go back to pop-ups, like, so for example, if they come to this page and let's just say they hover over the blue button, but then they end up coming to the top and X and out, mm -hmm. I can have an X, an exit pop-up which would make more sense. So, okay. so click on pop-ups pop real quick and just scroll up above 10. Yeah, all the way up. No. Oh, like up to the top of the page? Up. Yeah, to the top. Yeah, see, so right there, exit pop-up. Okay. So if anything, actually go back to landing page pop-up and click the blue, make it go to gray. Yeah, so let's get rid of that one. So if anything, an exit pop-up 
would be would be cool because okay. that that pops up right when someone goes to exit the page so they come yeah, to the page right. they didn't click the blue button they go and exit and we have a pop-up hey wait wait well, one more minute don't leave just yet you know what i mean so that's mm -hmm. your last your last chance to to get them to opt in all right so let me just uh give you a little insight why um anton my uh, my trainer designed it this way mm -hmm. he he wanted this and then i think he had an actual pop-up come up here after uh 10 seconds or six seconds or whatever mm -hmm. where we were trying to get people more so to buy this one than the single one that's not where so you it was it. okay that's okay so he all right yeah you know that's fine that's so fine. so for example the way the that's exactly the process for sure. Like great strategy. That's exactly what you want to do is upsell them on a higher package for sure. But it's not right there. What I would do is I would, again, on the blue button, I would say something like learn more, something like less okay. aggressive and non intrusive. Yeah. Is, that, is that the right word? Like you, you don't yeah, want to so yeah. be, you know, buy, you know, now. So that blue button could say something like learn more or click here for more information. They click it, they opt in, then they go to the sales page. When they go and purchase that first product at eight ninety nine, they go and purchase that. You they they click purchase. They're then taken to a second page, which tells them about the thirty nine ninety nine. So would I create a different upsell page in yes. general for that? Okay. Yes. So yes. And, and that's that's done in my product. So we'll need another page for the thirty nine ninety nine. Um, but that would be done in in my products. All right. So then two questions of that. And, and I think part of the reason why he created it this way, because this was a group of people we already knew and had a basis from. So it was just like, yeah, for here's sure. a link to sign up. Yeah. Um, but I, I totally get what you're saying with that. Um, after this, then that leads me to another question because I was playing around with one of the upsell forms mm -hmm. and the copy on that was just like so long. And I wanted to get your perspective on the long form. I think they called it a long form copy. Mm -hmm. Um, like what do you leave in what do you not because then i just feel like a cheap used car salesman like you, you we've all seen those those ads and landing pages where you just keep scrolling for oh yeah dude well he wait this is another reason to buy wait hold on right now you if you buy now you'll get something else wait but more like i personally i don't want to i don't feel like that's uh I don't want that message to come across. Yeah. Like, I don't like that way. So can I chop it down even though they have all this copy for there? Oh, like, heck yeah, bro. You can, you can delete all that shit. Heck yeah. Especially these people, like, I think it was a Frank Kearns one. So like mm -hmm, here we mm -hmm. have a guy who's like really good at writing copy and I'm deleting his shit because oh. I think mine's better. Like, I, I don't know. Like, so I just want to get your perspective. No, on oh, for sure. Long -form for copies. Yeah. For sure. For sure. But then again, you may have, you may have looked at the wrong template. You may have looked at, one template that was completely long form and meant for long form. There's a ton of other templates that are super short, but he, but he, but on the upsell to really keep it simple, here's just a suggestion. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have all the knowledge, like you have, you have crazy knowledge on this topic. What I would do is I would say on that blue button, learn more or whatever that, that non-aggressive type of, you know, approach could be learn more. It's yeah. simple. They click on it. Opt-in form pops up. They enter their name and email. They go to the sales page. They click on buy now for eight ninety nine. They're then taken not to the checkout. They're then taken to a, a second page, which which is the one you're talking about. But that mm -hmm. long form page is not a long form page. That that next page is a video. I don't know how how comfortable you are with that, but you have so yeah, much knowledge, no bro. Yeah. Where I would do the upsell with you on video. Hey okay. guys, thank you so much for purchasing the eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. But don't click. Don't check out just yet. Here's what I also want to tell you about this $39.99 product. Here's why it makes so much sense. I would make that a video. I would make that an upsell five, five minute, three minute, four minute video. And, 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 and then, and then give them the option to, to purchase it from there. That's so just a suggestion. How, how would I give them the option? So that's an upsell. What if I don't want the upsell? What if I want them to have an option? Hey, you can either buy this eight nine nine one. Yep. Or you can buy this thirty nine 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 one, which you get way more for. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can, can that one be done in the same page, or would you still have? Oh it, yeah, no, for sure. It, you know, so um, strung out. No, for sure, it, it it sure can because all it all it is is let's say for example it is a video. Let's say it's a video, and then the blue button is no thanks, Brandon. I'll just take the eight ninety nine, and then there and then to the right of it there's a green button that says. I'll take 
and that's all on one page. So they can either click the blue button or the green button. And if they click the blue, mm -hmm. it takes them straight to the checkout for $8.99. If they click the green, which is right next to it, it takes them to the $39.99 checkout. So there's two mm -hmm. checkouts now. Does that make sense? Yeah. So basically that's what we have here. Out, you yeah. would make that after the opt-in page. After, after the opt-in page, but after also after once they click on $8.99. So okay. once they think they haven't even they haven't even saw okay. your 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 thirty nine ninety nine yet right so yeah so but but here they they do right here they're seeing both right now I want to take them through a funnel where they only see eight ninety nine right now and when they click on it thinking that they're buying that only I then take them to a second page which is the long form Frank Kern one but we're gonna chop it up where it's just a video I would recommend and on that page then they still have the 899 option and now they ha also have the 39 option okay so um let me let me let me i know there's temp i know there's done for you funnels in here that have that exact funnel layout already but really all it is is another page it's it's you're, yeah, you're, yeah it's it's one extra page that's all it is it's one extra page and that's the upsell page and then on that upsell page, they still have the option. No, thanks, Brandon. I'll just take $8.99 and they click that button. Okay. Or they click the $39.99 button. And, so, and what, no, finish what you're saying. No, no. So wh whatever button they click on, it doesn't matter. That's fine. They're then taken to, to the checkout. So but, I think he made what you were, were talking about here. He, we just... It was it was a redirection page. We didn't have a video. And we didn't have an opt in opt in form. That's the only thing. So, so we have to add that add in. The opt in form, yes, and for for the very beginning, right in the very beginning. Yes, yes, yeah, correct. Yeah. We have to add that, that in. That opt in page, that opt in form for sure. Add that in for sure, um, because even though you guys are sending this link out to a warm market, a group people that are already familiar with you, we still have to be able to know who the hell opted in. Correct. Right, like, because right now the way we have it set up, we don't know who's clicking on it. Right, so yeah, yeah. So we want to be able to track it all from the from the moment they land on the first page. Opt in if this interests wow. you. Opt in, you know, you know learn what? more. Yeah, this. So, the, I thought this page was what you were talking about, but we we didn't we didn't create that. Um, that no, one. but this, so I, yeah, I totally get what you're saying. Yeah. Th this is a perfect example. So scroll down. So right there. So scroll down. That that right there could be a video or it could be a sales a sales message, whatever. But that's what I'm talking yeah. about. The two learn mores down. And then boom, boom. Yeah. So so I can click eight ninety nine or I can click thirty nine ninety nine. Correct. Okay. Right. So we so, would yeah. So we would make we would, we can make this the video. After the opt in page, they come in. Here's the video, and then we have eight ninety nine or thirty nine ninety nine. Is that what you're saying? Not necessarily. Yes, but okay. not necessarily. Let me explain. As they come to the very first landing page and they click on that blue button to learn yes. more, yes, they then opt in, and then we take them huh. to the eight ninety nine sales page. Okay. On that only eight, the eight ninety nine. Okay. Only the eight ninety nine. Okay. Only the eight ninety. I'm not showing them thirty nine right now. Once they end up clicking purchase for eight ninety nine. They, they click on that button and the way you guys have it set up right now is they click on it and they go straight to a checkout. I'm saying have them click on it and go to another page where this is there. Have them go to yeah. this page. And then, and then on this page, it's going to be a video of me pitching them why they need to go 39. And, and again, okay. based on whatever they want to do, okay, at least there's now the two options. They, and, and, and that's why the only people who are seeing this or the people mm -hmm. who actually went to purchase eight ninety nine, yeah, okay, right. Because although we yeah. may think logically, okay, let me show them both packages now. No, I don't want to show them both packages now. I, I, I need to, I need to wait till the end. I'm going to show them thirty nine. That's that that's what a technically what a quote unquote upsell is. You don't see that yeah. upsell until you're through the funnel. Okay. Until until but, until I already have you pulling out your credit card. Yeah. So I, I totally get what you're saying. I think where I was getting confused was. I was playing around with one of the other upsells and it was an upsell in the term of they can buy product A and then product B as well. Mm -hmm. And not like an and or like this is we we just want them to buy one or the other versus yeah. what I was playing around with before was um, 
buy this one, include a bump offer in it, and then have an upsell after that. And it was just like, you know, tiered that way. So now they're buying all three of those products. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, so is this an and or? This is a, uh, yeah, and or one or the other. Yeah, yeah one or the other, right? Yeah. So yeah, so that, that's how you, how you want to do it. And, and to tell you the truth, okay. it's, it's the landing page. Let me tell you exactly how many pages the entire funnel would consist of. The yeah. landing page, they opt into that page. And then they go mm -hmm. to your eight ninety nine dollars sales page, which is our second page. They mm -hmm. click the buy now for eight ninety nine, dollars And then it takes them to our third page, which is that video page. Now I'm telling them about the upsell. On that third page, that's when I'm giving them these two options. That's it. Okay. So, so the tags, the tags are based on the opt-in form as well. Even I though, gotcha. even though it can be based on the purchase, but I think, I think that opt-in form has something to do with it for sure. Okay. So, so I come to your landing page. page. Yeah. Yeah. Have me opt in first. You need that name and email first. Gotcha. So landing page, have an opt-in. Our page two is that 899. They click that. It takes us to the video and the upsell, which is page three. So there's going to be three. So there's yes. definitely going to be four because then we're going to have a thank you. Hopefully. Exactly. You're going to have. Hopefully they buy. It, it's actually five because now it's, okay. an, it's, it's, an, it's, a, it's a different thank you page for the second product. Well, yeah. Okay. So yeah, correct. Right. Yeah. And we, yeah, we have the two different thank you pages. Correct. Yes. So. And so just as, just as I, I mentioned in the email, the conversions, that conversions also, that thank you page, that's what you set as a custom conversion on, in Facebook. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. I remember saying that. Yep. All right. So, yeah. All right. So, all right. If I go back and edit this and the email sequence doesn't work, that's a culture problem and I need to reach out to them most likely. Yes. But, and, and yeah, for sure. Because everything, everything is there, but here, you know what, let's exit out of this real quick, save and save and, um, and publish or publish. Yeah, yeah. Publish live. Let's get out of this real quick and let's go to, let's go to, um, my communications. So now we set up, we set up the product. The product is, is good with the tag, but then we also set up, the actual list. So now that now whoever buys that product is going to that actual list. But what you also want to set up is the form. So whoever fills out that form, they go to that list. They they need to go to a list as well. So so on that landing page, whatever form you tie to that landing page, make sure you also tie it to a list. It all starts with that list, not the okay. sequence. Makes not sense. the tag. It, it, it starts with that list. So if you have to create a new form for that new, yeah, blue button, I, I that. yeah. then, then, you know, then create a new form, but, um, and, and, and it's, yeah. So, and then it's in that form that you're going to set it up where when they fill out this form, they go mm -hmm. to this page, which is the eight ninety nine page. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Let's go to, so, so now let's go to, let's go to sequences. And then this is a, a, an edit that I'll have you do and then just test it, test it from here. So let's go back to that sequence and, and rather than, rather than tagging them, let's change it to whoever fills out the form. So, I mean, they give you all those options. Can, can you make it all of them or is it better off just to make it one it, or another? Yeah, like, it's better off to make it one or the other. Um, now, now based on, on how you set it up, you did it right. I'm just, I'm just, I, mm -hmm. I don't know why that tag isn't triggering. What I can think of is a form because There's they no didn't opt into form. any form. Okay. That could be affecting the tag. So one test we made it off the tag and not the form so you you're saying make it the opt-in form yeah make it the form so let's go select but category but also in in product when you had me go to product um we went to i forget what page it was but basically it was a subscription list there was nothing there i had to tie it to something so that could have been it too as well oh right? yeah yep yeah. Mm -hmm. so we didn't so, create an opt-in form so there's nothing to to click it 
to tie it to yet. So go ahead and create one then right here. You can um, click, so get out of this part and it, it should say right there. Actually, it doesn't. Okay, so yeah, you have to create a, an opt-in form. But that's fine. We, we started it. We just never finished it. That's fine. So I okay. would then tie it to this opt-in form yeah. and then do it that way and remove this tag. Exactly. So I would get rid of that. Exactly. And then it should, the cascade should, should flow. Yes. Okay. And yes, for sure. For sure, for sure. Um, yeah. And let's see, what else could it be? Um, go to, and so what's super important is, is these emails down here is, yeah, the tags, the tags on that, on that is super important, but you had it set up right. So it can't be, it can't be that. These emails are all based on, yes, who filled out the form, who has the tag, but then also right here, it's also reading the tag, the recipients. So that part's, that part's right. So all I can really think of is the fact that there was never an opt-in form. So mm. the system didn't even know who was in that, who was in that funnel prior to the tag even being applied. Yeah. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah, yeah it makes total sense. Yeah. So, um, and then, yeah, so let's exit out of this part. So that part, that part set up, right. The list is also set up now. So now people who buy that product, they're on that list. Just, yeah, so just tie a form. Tie a form to that first landing page. That blue button needs to pop up a, a form. Okay. And, and that's, all, that's all that could be wrong with it, man. And if that doesn't fix it, then, yeah, wait on, on Kartra's email because okay. they'll, they'll for sure. They'll, they get back within 24 hours. You'll never go 24 hours where you don't hear from them. Like, they'll get back within 24 hours for sure. All right. um, um, has it been fair. 24 hours? You coming up on it, if not exceeding it. We filled it out. What's today? Friday. So yeah, it was filled out yesterday to support ticket. Probably around this time, three, four o'clock. How did how did you um, do it? What did you do? I didn't fill it out. My my uh Anton, my uh performance trainer coach was filled it out. What what I always he was do, the one dealing with it. What what I always do is that's one way to do it too, but to tell you the truth, I never ever ever filled out a support ticket. I always just email them. So support okay. at carter.com i always just email them with my problem and and, and okay. here's another thing what i always well not always but what i probably do maybe 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 seven out of, out of ten times is i'll literally record a, a short video and i'll tell them exactly what's going on in my video okay that right there is way way better so if, if like what we're doing here if we were to take yeah. this clip and send it to them but not make it as long maybe maybe make it you know two three minutes if that and, yeah. and email support at Kartra, email them your video, and that would help out tremendously as well. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So I, I use Zoom for that, you know, just record a quick video and, and then I'll email it to them, or I'll take that Zoom video, upload it to YouTube, and send them my YouTube link. Okay. I'll just put the video on YouTube. I'll put it unlisted so it's not, you know, on my YouTube page, you know. I'll just put it unlisted, and so they'll be able to see it and, and know what the hell you know, I'm talking about because writing, writing this stuff out could be, could be weird too. You know, someone reading on the other end, they're like, damn, what's this guy talking about? They know what you're talking yeah. about, but at the same time, writing it is it's, very, very yeah. different than me verbally, visually showing you what the hell my problem is. Yeah, of course. Of you know course. what I mean? Okay. So that's what I would start doing. I would start sending them video for sure. I gotcha. Um, and then also, also, do you ever use the, have, have you added yourself to the Karcher Facebook group? Yeah, he, he did it and was asking some questions there. Okay, good. I don't think he got the correct answer that he, he wanted yet. Yeah, um, that's why I was like, all right, mm -hmm. support ticket and let me reach out to you. because Yeah, you know, perfect. But, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, from what I'm seeing, man, it, it, that form has a lot to do with it. The product was never tied to a list. You always okay. want to have it tied to a list and then, and then, and then test the opt-in form on the actual sequence rather than reading the tag on the starting mm -hmm. rule. Yeah, start it with the opt-in opt form. form. Gotcha. Yeah. And then, and then always go into the actual, you can always go into the list, click on the number, pull up that lead or go into leads and find that lead, click on it. And then always check the log, see if that email was even sent. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know they had a, a log. This is you know, very, uh, very detailed. Um, yeah, dude. And that's real time. So it'll, it'll let you know what happens in, you know, by the second on that lead. And the, and the sales will reflect that too, basically real oh, yeah, time. Dude. Oh, like hell that. yeah. All right. Yeah. So you'll we'll, see all that in real so time. So we could track it. Mm -hmm. Um, question have you like all your your youtube videos mm -hmm. do you upload them into cartridge my videos or 
um, or maybe your, your Facebook course that you're making, it, are those uploaded to, to my videos in a membership section or something? I haven't gotten that far yet. I just want to know, it, does it slow down Kartra or, or the, the web page having all these videos uploaded? Very, very good question. I have both. I do both. I do both. So actually, actually, I, I do three. There's three different ways that I, that I do it only because of you're right, because it, it doesn't slow down the system. It doesn't slow down your page. It doesn't slow down the loading. It, it can actually, it can slow down the loading based on how big the video is. So if I uploaded that video to Kartra and that's, and it's a huge video, it's a long video, then it can slow down the loading of the page for sure. So one, three ways I do it. One way, one, one way I do it is I'll put just like, like a random video, like for example, um, these video, the video that you're, that, that we're talking about as far as on the upsell page, that video I can easily put on Kartra like that because, because it's, it's, it's one video, it's on one page and mm -hmm. I can, I can host that on Kartra. Correct. So any, any, so any video like that, I can for sure host it on Kartra. But if I have a ton of videos, which is in my memberships, so in my case, I have a ton. Like I have a membership course, not the Facebook one yet, but I have another course, which is for real estate agents. Mm -hmm. And in my memberships under my course, I have 50 videos. And yeah, so yeah. it, doesn't, it doesn't slow down the page, but what it does do is it increases the bandwidth, which, which, which alters how much you're spending monthly for Kartra. So if you had a shitload of videos on Kartra and they were all running by a ton of people every day, your bandwidth is going to be so high where Kartra, it's no longer 99. You're going to start spending a couple hundred, a couple hundred a month on just Kartra because of the bandwidth that you're using because these videos are hosted on Kartra. Okay. So, so if it's a membership, so to make, to make, to, to really make, make clear of what I'm saying, if it's a membership course and you have more than, more than 10 videos, right? I have yeah. 50 videos in a course for what I do those videos I host it on Vimeo. And so with Vimeo. Oh, so you still keep, you, you still keep Vimeo then because I have Vimeo and I was going to get rid of it because this can host it, but if it's going to slow yeah. it down. No, no. Okay. It, 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 Vimeo is only needed if you have a shitload of videos. Yeah. So you, I, I have um, a bunch of online well, courses that are in person that I want to make online and to, some other things. So for a course. Yeah. Online course. Yeah. 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 Those, those videos I would, I would host on Vimeo only. Oh, so keep, okay. And it's not, it's not, it's not because it's going to slow anything down. It's all because I don't want to be spending a few hundred a month for Kartra. Like I'm trying to keep that, that expense as low as possible because Vimeo, if I have a ton of videos, it's going to just eat up my bandwidth. Doesn't Vimeo charge you more for each video? I think, right. No, they don't like charge you, you. They don't charge you per video, but they do charge you annually. So I think I spent. I think I and it's not exactly cheap, but at the same time, it. it, it I think it is. I mean, I think I. I think I spent. And you're gonna need. You can't use the free one. You got to upgrade to the to the business one or whatever the hell they call it. But I think I spent like. I think it was like two. I think it was like two twenty for the year. Okay, and how so many not, videos are you hosting on Vimeo on there? Because because right now I think I have like 40, 40 videos on like, Vimeo. I'm hosting all of my videos for my course on Vimeo. Okay. But any random one-off video for a page mm -hmm. is on Kartra. So do you then link your, your, um, your membership to Vimeo or whatever that's integrated? So they're, on, they're still on Kartra or your you know, subdomain of your website, but you've brought it to, to Vimeo? Yeah, so in they click Vimeo, a link, they click a link. Yeah. Like, let, me, let, me, let me share my screen real quick. Yeah. So let me, let me, um, let me show you, can you see my Kartra account? Yeah. Okay. So here's the way, it, the way it works. So I'll, I'll record that video on my, you know, on my camera or whatever right here. And then I'll take that video from my computer and then I'll upload it to Vimeo. Right. And then in Vimeo, each video obviously has its own, you know, share link. That's the link that I then put into Kartra. So for example, here is one of my videos. And I have, so on here, I have, go to manage my videos, go to my videos. I, everything for my actual training course is right here. So I have modules and in each module, uh, there's the welcome video. There's a bonus module, which is 25 videos. Module five has four videos. Module eight, module four has eight. So I just have a ton of these videos. Module one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five. So any, any video. So let's go to any random video. 
this one right here, all I do is I just grab the link and then I put, and then I, and then I paste that link. So right here, I'll go to share and then I'll go to copy embed code. That's what I'm embedding into Kartra. So now the bandwidth isn't affecting Kartra. The bandwidth is coming from Vimeo, but it's, but it's still on a Kartra. It's still on Kartra. So I come over here to my memberships and, and, and this could be in any, in, on any page in any video section. Actually, you know what? Yeah. I can just, let me just show you from any, any video. I don't have to go into the course. Let me show you any random. So on my pages, let's say, let's say this video right here. So if I come in here, and this is the second way. So, so when it comes to my membership course, a ton of videos, those are on Vimeo. Gotcha. Run up one off videos, just random videos on, on like, it's not, it's not that it's a random, that's not, that's not the exact word, but the one video for your upsell, for example, Yeah. yeah. that could be on Kartra. Okay. Okay. And then, and then any other video I, I, I could, I could for sure put a YouTube link. Um, and I have a ton of pages that, that are random where I'll send mm -hmm. an email. Like if you're on any of my email list, mm -hmm. I send out an email and when you click whatever the hell I'm trying to, you know, mention, when you click in that email, it'll take you to a Kartra page where on that page is my YouTube video. So that's the third way. So, so, so some pages I'll have a YouTube video on that. Some page, so my membership course are all Vimeo videos. And then, and then, and then a, an upsell page, for example, could be hosted on Kartra. So here's a, a regular page, regular Kartra page. And then over here, all I do is I just hover over the video, come over here to the edit. And right here, it's going to give me the option. I'll just go Vimeo and I'll paste in that Vimeo link. And then I'll mm -hmm. click apply. Gotcha. That, but that's not for pages. That's for my membership course. That's your membership. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Yep. Gotcha. Or I could have just uploaded that video to Kartra and I could have just yeah. grabbed the video here. But again, that's, if that's, you have a ton of videos, you don't want to, you don't want to do it through Kartra. Okay. It's just gotcha. the one offs, the upsell page. If I just have a couple of those, that's totally fine. Yeah. All right. I mean, you know, I'm a little bit away from creating the, the membership. I just wanted yeah. to, while I had you, while I had when you, call. when you upload it to Vimeo, it, it condenses the actual size. So it'll take it from like a huge size of a file down to a smaller. When you upload the video to YouTube, it then, it then conduct, condenses the size as well. And now it makes it a, a, a smaller size file. So when the page loads, it loads fast. So any random video that you do on your, on your phone or your, cam your camera, before you upload it to Kartra, if you are going to upload it to Kartra, like the upsell video, for example, I yeah. would have it condensed. And so there's, there's like free software that you can, you can do that. It's like, and you can do it with images as well because files, that's what slows down the, the loading of a, of a page is the fact that the file, whether it's an image or a video, it's a large file. Yeah, that's what slows down the loading of a page. So if you are going to ever put a video on 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 Kartra and host it there, not Vimeo, not YouTube, you want to run it through. You want to run it through this software right here first, because it's going to take your large file and make it a smaller one. Okay. And then I want to take that small file and upload that to Kartra. Okay. So this Crush. right here, make a note for your guy for this one, Handbrake. Okay. Um, if, if I make a landing page and I, you know, once it's all done and everything with the video, can I then delete the video off of uh, Kartra or does it then remove it from the video because it's no longer there? Very good question. No, you want to, you have to leave it on Kartra. It has to, you have to, okay. Yeah. E even was, with images too. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, uh, so that was called handbrake, correct? Yeah. Handbrake to, 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 to condense the size of the file, whether it's an image okay. or a video. And that allows the page to load faster. All right. Wow. Who knew? Cool. So, man. No, that's golden information. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. So, so those random pages that you have an upsell or just here and there, you could for sure host them on Kartra. Just run them through Handbrake. Hand, run them through Handbrake first. Yeah. And the reason why, and, and the reason why you don't want that to be on YouTube, like let's say for example, I, I go and buy the 899, I click on it, and then now I'm taken to an upsell page, and it's you on video. 
The reason why you don't want to have that a YouTube video, which it, it can be, but I don't want to take their attention away from what I'm trying to tell them. Because when you like with this one, for example, I'll do it on these pages on certain pages inside of my culture, I'll, I'll put a YouTube video because I'm actually promoting my YouTube channel. But if I was trying to keep their attention on buying something, I don't yeah. want them to come to this page, know it's a YouTube video, and then all of a sudden they click on the damn title and now they're on my YouTube channel watching other random shit. Uh -huh. Like I, but so, so, so if you're gonna take me to this page and it's an upsell page, this is a video and, and, and that's hosted on Kartra or, or hosted on Vimeo, but you're not going to need you, you, Vimeo is for your membership course. These other videos, you could for sure host them on Kartra because they wouldn't see this title. They wouldn't see my profile picture up here where they can then click on it and go to, and go to yeah. my YouTube. Like, I don't want to show them any of that. Yeah. You know, but again, these are pages that I set up that I email to my list. And, and yeah. I actually want them to go to my YouTube channel and, and yeah. I want and then, to get that credit of them watching it on my view count. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. And then you're able to make it so your other videos pop up and hopefully they click on your other videos. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Right. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Okay. Yeah. For sure. And, and yeah, and ads would run on this and everything. So, but I wouldn't be taking them here. I wouldn't host a YouTube video if it was my membership course for sure. Like I don't want them watching these videos on my YouTube inside of my membership course like mm -hmm. i wouldn't do that and and i wouldn't make it an upsell video either youtube gotcha so hopefully that makes sense i know that i know we were kind of all over the place so hopefully no 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 it's good good stuff man like i said you you do a great job explaining it and you know your shit so thanks bro thanks um, just um test test that opt-in form change that yeah on the landing page and then also on the starting rules on the sequence change mm -hmm. that and then, and then, and then let me know if, if that works or not, man. And we'll jump back on. Yeah, we'll do, man. Appreciate it. Sounds good, bro. What else? Anything else? What else you got for me? Um, no, uh, can you go back actually? I just wanted to show you that, that long form real quick. And then yes. That's so it. go ahead and, um, go ahead and share your screen. There we go. So I think I cloned it. Yeah, it was. Yeah, dude, you're using the you're using the book. So that is for your book. Okay, so yeah, yeah this th well, the yeah, this was another book I was I was selling because I, I have a few um, that I've been wanting to just put out there. But mm -hmm. this was more of a I, I just wanted to play around with the software um, yes. as well. So it was mm -hmm. kind of it was kind of both. Okay, but this one I was like, all right, if I sell one book, can I bump and give them an, do a bump offer for another book and then upsell the third book or something? But you totally can. You totally can. You totally can. But yeah, I just, I didn't like this long form. Yeah, dude, you can, the template is, is there, but don't take it as if it's freaking like, you know, God, you know what I mean? Like you could totally yeah. change it. You could totally edit it, take out the entire bottom half of the whole page. Like you could totally change it, you know, to your liking. But um, in my case, like I'll give you a perfect example. I, this is the exact page that I've been using for forever as far as my book, this page right here. So mm -hmm. it just depends on, you know, your strategy and, and what you really want. But, but here's another thing, as people scroll down, right, they're reading all this and then they scroll down and they purchase. That's when you yeah. take them to your upsell page. Yeah. So, so this, click this here. would click to, uh, this would go to an upsell page. That would go to an upsell page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That would, that would go to an upsell page. Um, send me the thing. They click on it. Actually, you know what? That would go to an actual, that would go to a page, but it's not exactly, it's, yeah, yeah, it is the upsell page. It is the upsell page. Um, because, and then they could just check out from there. Yeah, I think, do you play around a lot with the pre-made ones or you make your own stuff? No, dude, I, I do. I, I use the pre-made ones um, because there's so many of them. And then I'll just freaking delete, you know, stuff that I don't want from it. Cause you can change, you could totally change the whole entire page. So I just, I go off of the template and then I, I just, you know, change it from there. Yeah. Cause um, this, it was, where, where was the thing? Uh, I can't, I have to delete this one, but yeah, it was. See, look, the, go the to that form and then down sell and upsell. See, and thank you page. Click on, click on the upsell real quick. Just hover over the eyeball and click on it. Yeah. Click on that. Scroll down. See, that's what I'm talking about. 899 
$39.99. Gotcha. That right there is your page, bro. That one right there. Okay. Okay. I got gotcha. you. And then the video. Yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. dude. That's it. Now, again, the reason why I'm saying video is because you know your shit better than anything and you want camera, you look good. So you got the look, you got the knowledge. It's like shit, bro. Then, Sell me in a three minute video. Like why have a long ass freaking 10 paragraphs of all this other random shit when it's like, yeah. hey, let me just yeah. verbally visually tell you this. And, and I'm telling you, man, that's what you're, that's what people gravitate to anyways is the real you. video. Yeah, is, is, yeah, is video and seeing the real Brandon. Now, if we're trying to build a brand without you, okay, that's okay. Then that's a whole other thing. And that's understandable. But if, but if you don't mind putting yourself in the brand, that needs to be mm -hmm. you on video. Okay. So all right, on yeah, all my good. stuff on, all, and, and you know what, dude, I, I'm going to show you exactly how powerful that is. Let me, let me share this really quick. Yep. Um, this is what just literally happened just about an hour ago, just, it, and it's the same exact process. Um, but instead of taking them to a, an upsell page where I'm selling them something else, in my case, what I do is I send them to a thank you page where I'm getting them a schedule and appointment. So I'm selling them my book. They go to a thank you page. Thank you for ordering. And then on that page, it's me on video selling them on booking a call. So just mm -hmm. today, bro, like at 1035, like right now it's, 11, it's one o'clock, 1035 today, this sell just came through. So this Sheena, she just bought my book for 550. And then she, she goes, look, and here's my page. Same exact freaking Frank Kern shit. Long ass shit. Here's my sales page. Same exact thing. So there's me and my little boy. And then mm -hmm. here's my freaking book. So it's the same shit. And then they, they, they go to buy it, go to the thank you page. So that's what happened. And then on that thank you page is what I'm selling them on to schedule an appointment. And so what just happened is this also came in right after that sell. Um, this came in, actually, I think I deleted it. Let me show you in the trash folder. That person, that same exact lead. Mm -hmm. So this right here. So that same exact lead clicked and scheduled a call. So that, that exact Sheena. So, so you get a lead filled out a form. I'll get that email. And then I'll also get the calendar. So new calendar booking. This mm. happened two hours ago. She booked a call. So that's an upsell page. I could have easily sold her something else, but I I'm selling her on scheduling a call. So it went from gotcha. buying my book to my thank you page to me telling you, Hey, click the red button to schedule the call. And so that's what happened. So that's how I get a lot of appointments, you know, for, for what I do is I'll, you know, they see my book, they go to my upsell page and boom, they schedule a call. Gotcha. So you could be doing that same exact thing, man, and, and crushing it, bro. Like crushing it. I like the model you have here. How long did it take you to build all this stuff out? It seems like you've been doing this at least a couple of years. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it real, bro. Like I'm telling yeah. you, like once I got on a car trip, like I have video, I documented this whole entire two-year journey. I, every video is on my YouTube channel. Like I, I literally yeah. documented the moment I was signing up for Kartra. Like oh, that's well. on okay. my YouTube channel where I'm actually yeah. showing, you know, on screen share. Hey guys, I'm leaving click funnels. I'm coming over to Kartra. I'm going to show you right now. I'm putting in my credit card number and I'm setting up my 14 day trial. Like I'm literally recording the whole damn thing. And yeah. that was in July of 20, I think that was July of 2018. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that was July yeah. of 2018. It might've been July of 2017 actually. Now that I think about it, cause now it's been about two years, but to okay. answer your question, probably, uh, again, as I told you on our first call, like two weeks, yeah. like it took me like maybe two, yeah. three weeks. Well, and that then was just you, to get familiar with Kartra. I'm talking to, about like, to, seems like yeah. you, you have, yeah. Okay. No, to get familiar with Kartra, but then right away I started making sales on it. So, yeah. 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 yeah so, so you, you got to account for the, the learning curve, but if, and even yeah. if you're delegating this to someone else, man, you still want to learn, you know, the shit too. You know what I mean? Like, Oh yeah. I'm not, I'm, that was just, um, you know, he has his, I don't want to say his side, but I yeah, want yeah, him helping yeah. out with some of that stuff. And then I'm learning it too. Yeah. Like I said, on the first call, I, I need to learn this stuff. Um, I need to handle the marketing stuff and, and not outsource it. And uh, I've been putting time since uh, last Thursday. So it's been a week since um, playing around with this. Oh, and, bro, and you're going to learn it quick. Facebook ads. So yeah. I, I truly cool. believe you're way smarter than I am, man. You're going to learn this shit quick. And, and once that, you do, yeah. it, it, it's, yeah. it's landing pages, Facebook ads, bro. That's it. Yeah. Like there's nothing else you need to know, man. Like landing yeah. the Kartra system, Facebook ads. 
Yeah. You do those two things. That's why, that's why I'm, and I said this on a video that I think I released, I think I released this video yesterday where I'm like, dude, I am tired of fishing for people because I truly believe everybody can fish for themselves. Everybody can learn. Every small business owner can learn the marketing side, you know, because it, it doesn't take much. You know, so rather than having to spend a thousand a month or fifteen hundred a month on some marketing person, no, dude, like you'll learn this stuff and be able to do this stuff in your sleep. Yeah, agreed. And and it doesn't take awesome, you too brother. much time at all once you learn it. You know. Yeah, it's just that upfront cost, but that's anything. You got you got to put time in to learn it, uh, and you know, chip away at it, and then once you learn it, it's uh, it's all downhill from there. Yeah, and and keep it simple too, dude. Like start testing this with just a few pages. Like there's some real freaking, you know, um, um, like huge type of sales funnels where it's like so many pages involved keep it simple yeah, like I, with this book start testing just a couple pages with the 8.99 39.99 keep it simple in three four pages like start testing that first before you try to learn even more detailed type of funnels and all this other random shit you know i got you sounds good man get some cells on the board first and then you know go from there yeah let's get small wins yes yeah, small wins bro add up i love it Awesome. All right, Dave, thanks again for all your time and stuff. Um, let me know about that, that Carter thing. If you need anything else from me, it's let me all know good, when brother. you drop that, that Facebook ads course, I'll definitely looking to buy that. And uh, yeah, I'll be in touch, bro. It's all good, bro. Stay safe, man. Hit me up anytime. Hey, man, you too. All right, brother. Thanks Bye. a lot. Bye. Thanks. Bye.